Uh, you have to remember that uh, Jesus' life was actually betrayed for money. Um, so when I'm trying to get you to understand that he's, he's taken the cost, the accosting of money out of the way, it's nothing more than a surplus because money is make-believe anyways. Um, the only thing that makes it, makes it debt is when you're mixing your selfish private use of the public title and not leaving it in the collective. Um, it's for the poor. As Jesus told the rich man, sell everything you own, give to the poor, and then come follow me. Of which I'm saying the same message. Um, you got to get your private claim off the public interest. Because um, that Jesus actually canceled that. He died for that. As it sits on its own, it can't be debt. It needs someone to claim the debt to be the surety for it on its own without a private name touching it. It has no player on the game, um, in the game. So uh, Jesus, again, traded for 30 pieces of silver. So he was made not only debt for us, but he was made, he was traded for money. And that's why those temple priests um, didn't know what to do with it. So they went out and they bought a cemetery. They called it a field of blood. Uh, which, uh, again, deals with the infringement of what they claimed Jesus had crossed. He had crossed over the line, supposedly, into the legal jurisdiction of the Romans, trying to compete with Caesar, which he wasn't. And therefore, false accusation, same as what's on the statement of birth record. Uh, this is just an accusation that is on the top over your head. Um, certainly, a child is innocent without cause. Um, and uh, therefore, uh, that's why Jesus said you had to be a child to enter the kingdom of God. And that's why he put him on his lap, despite the disciples trying to prevent the children from coming there. Because he was trying to get them to understand they needed to be humble, not arrogant and egotistical. So this private, selfish grab for the public coffer is a big problem. And that's why the world is in the mess it is. Um, and was doomed to go down uh, because surety ship is a precursor to doom. And we'll read that in a text out of a very important book that uh, I had done on a radio show in the past.